And in terms of impact for the children, because that is the biggie, having the impact for the SATs. I mean, our SATs results for maths alone increased by almost 30%. Last year, it was 57% in maths expected, and this year we've got 85%, which is just <laughs> wow. And in the last three years, only one year we had 7% greater depth. So last year, no greater depth at all. And this year, 31% greater depth. And if that doesn't show the impact of LVQ in a year six classroom or in any classroom, then I don't know what does because those results are phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Could I have done it without LVQ? No, I'm not too sure I could have, not with the amount of maths that we did, absolutely not. Same thing with reading, it wasn't just about the reading as well. Our reading scores for expected last year was 39%, this year 69%, so jump of 30%. You, you can't argue with that progress. Um, greater depth, 15%, so massive, massive increase. So for our school that is struggling as much as we are, the cohort that we've got, the, the area that we're working in, the proof is in the pudding, to say the least. Yeah, the proof is in the pudding. Right, so I've got our most recent results. So yeah, our 2019 results are, have just come out. Um, again, they're the best the school's you know, ever done historically. Um, we've got 90% um, expected standard in maths, 48% greater depth. That's up four years ago uh, from under 10% greater depth. Um, our progress measure this year um, is value added. Um, it's you know around six. It's going to be the top one percent of schools in the country. We think uh, last year we were top four percent of schools in the country. We think we're going to be one this year, potentially two. Uh, that's down for that's the change four years ago when we were below average, bottom ten percent. So you, you know it, it, it writes its own story. LBQ is going to be massive. I know that straight away and within school we're already using it in year six, at year five, year four and year three and we've actually got tablets for each of those year groups. It's already also been used by our year two teacher and our year one teacher with the question sets that are there. Our next challenge is getting some tablets for those children in there, that's going to be the next aspect. And we're then going to be looking at setting up some of our own question sets that we can use for knowledge organisers linked to our other subjects. But I know LBQ have got other subjects in the background coming on board. So there's been even more reading and writing aspects coming through, there been more science ones coming through. So we're looking at some history, geography side of things that we can develop within school as well. The future of LBQ is, it's just growing from strength to strength. The resources are constantly being added to. They're constantly, it's a two-way thing. It's not just LBQ giving the schools the resource. You know, schools are also asking for different resources or it's a two-way thing it's just going to get bigger and bigger um, it's having a massive impact in, in, in all our classes in Bolton if we were to stop using LBQ now I think I'd have lots I think the phone lines would go bonkers really um, I think our teachers would be really sort of missing that resource where we initially we were looking at year five and sixes They've seen the impact up in Key Stage 2, so they're looking at now bringing it down into year, you know, year 3 and year 4 and doing that. So I think if we suddenly pulled the plug, I don't think that would be a good move at all. Our schools are really loving it. End users are just finding it really easy to use and it's having an impact on the children's learning engagements. Well, if you shut it down, I think I'd build it myself. <laughs> I know a few of the people who work there, so I'd get it sorted. Um, you know, I've had pupil progress this week, and I've spoken to all the teachers um, across our school and with our academy, and, and one of the questions we pose at the end is, what have you really enjoyed and what's really helped this year? And, you know, I'm not just saying this because you're sat here, and you can go and ask every member of staff at our school. Um, it's learning by questions. Our greater depth results, are, you know, are going to be some of the strongest in the area. Um, it, it is down to LBQ, there's no other way about it. You need to dust off those textbooks at the back of the cupboard that we've all hidden <laughs> and get and get that out. I think the children would be the most disappointed. I really do think it, the children have, have they've flown with it to be honest and mm. the enthusiasm and the engagement that they show with it to take that away from them. Um, mm. Yeah, it, it sort of have massive impact for us. Yeah. You won't be getting my tablets back, put it that way. There's absolutely no way I, I need it in the classroom. The children, we need it in the classroom. We do. Please don't do that. 
no. I, I'm not. I'm not quite sure how to respond to that question. <laughs> just, just, just no. It, in terms of my work-life balance, in terms of impact, I want the results. I want our results to increase like they have done this year. I want the impact to go throughout school like it has done in year six this year. If you take away the LBQ tablets, that won't happen. The teachers are awesome in this school, absolutely phenomenal, and we are working so hard to make progress in the school, make that rapid progress with the children, and LBQ is helping us on that journey. We need the LBQ. Don't take it away. LBQ in, resource, in my resource list, it's got to be right near the top, absolutely at the top. For maths, I'd say it's my number one resource to go to.